dear students in this session we introduce qualitative response regression models qualitative response regression models remember that in the regression analysis we have considered so far it was implicitly assumed that the dependent variable is quantitative why is quantitative the independent variables are quantitative qualitative or a mixture of quantitative and qualitative as in the case of ancova models so the dep dependent variable was assumed to be quantitative independent variables are mixture of quantitative and qualitative variables now we consider models in which the dependent variable is qualitative in nature the dependent variable is qualitative as an example suppose that we want to study the labor force participation decision of adult males labor force participation decision of adult males now an adult male may be in the labor force or not it is an yes or no decision if he is in the labor force it is an yes if he is not in the labor force it is a no so the dependent variable y take only two values y one if the person is in the labor force and zero if he is not in the labor force labor force as another example you consider the case of us presidential elections we assume that there are only two parties the republican party and the democratic party now we can give the value one if the voter will give his vote to the republican party zero if he will vote to the democratic party and in this regard that is to in the context of the voting behavior uh, the uh, political scientist ray fair of yale university has conducted a lot of research to study the voting behavior of american voters and uh, some of the variables he considered were the growth rate of gdp unemployment inflation rates whether the candidate is running for re-election etc and uh, if there are three can three parties and a, a republican a democrat and an independent then we have to go for uh, go for uh, other cases so for the time being we assume that there are two parties other examples are you want to study whether a family own a house or not we give the value one if the family own a house zero if it is residing in a rented house uh, whether a fam family has disability insurance or mediclaim or not if uh, you are an individual whether you have a mediclaim or not if uh, the person or the family has a mediclaim we give the value one otherwise zero and uh, whether both uh, husband and wife are in the labor force or not whether a family declare a dividend or not whether a teenager will take up smoking or not whether a nation will receive uh, what is known as foreign aid or not these are all situations in which 
the variable take only two values yes or no values two values one and zero so in all these cases the dependent variable is qualitative independent variables are qualitative quantitative or a mixture of both now it is not necessary that we have to limit our choices to yes or no suppose in the u.s elections there is a democratic candidate republican candidate and an independent then we have three choices in that case y is trichotomous y is not is trichotomous not a dichotomous not a dichotomous it is trichotomous and in general we have polychotomous polychotomous we have polychotomous polychotomous means multiple category responses multiple category so we have a trichotomous three categories polychotomous if multiple categories instead of only two choices initially we restrict our analysis to two choices then we will expand it to three and more than three now so these models are also known as discrete choice discrete choice because y can take a limited number of values we have discrete choice models or qualitative response regression models qualitative response regression model so general so it, it so why take dichotomous two values trichotomous three values polychotomous multiple category four five etc so as it take a limited number of values we have discrete choice models the name discrete choice models or qualitative response regression models now in a model in which y is quantitative our aim is to estimate expected y given x2 x3 etc xk in a model in which y is quantitative our aim is to to measure the expected value of y given the value of x where x is quantitative qualitative or a combination of both but in the model in which y is qualitative our objective is to find out probability of something happening if y is qualitative our aim is to find out the probability of something happening such as a family own a house we have to calculate what is the probability that a family will own a house what is the probability that a family a person will vote for a democratic candidate what is the probability that a person will be in the labor force what is the probability that a teenager will take up smoking what is the probability that an underdeveloped nation will get a foreign aid etc etc so qualitative response regression models are also known as probability models probability models because in such models our aim is to uh, our aim is to find out the probability of something happen that is why these models are also known as probability models so initially we start with the binary or dichotomous in which y take only two values and there are four approaches to study 
the binary response or dichotomous models binary response or a dichotomous models one is the linear probability model lpm the second one is the logit the third one is the probit and the fourth one is the tobit lpm logit probit and tobit these are the four types of models now in the context of qualitative response regression models we wish to answer the following questions question number 1 how do we estimate qualitative response regression models how do we estimate qualitative response regression models that is can we estimate qualitative response regression models like any other regression model using ols that is the first issue the second issue are there any special inference problems that is statistical inference problems if is there any specific inference problems that is can we adopt the usual hypothesis testing procedures to test the hypothesis about estimated coefficients a third question is how do we assess goodness of it if y is qualitative goodness of fit if y is qualitative that is whether we can use the conventional r square as a measure of goodness of fit if the dependent variable is qualitative and when we go beyond the dichotomous case binary response variables how do we estimate and interpret polychotomous models how do we estimate and interpret polychotomous models polychotomous multiple response models also how do we handle cases in which the dependent variable is ordinary dependent variable is ordinary how do we estimate a model if y is ordinary that is ordered categorical variables like that is uh, that is data obtained in an ordinal scale for example y is number of years of education schooling so the data is ordinal data and it is classified into say less than 8 years 8 to 10 years 10 to 12 years 12 to 14 years etc so how to deal with data in which the dependent variable is measured in ordinal scale and how do we estimate if uh, the dependent variable is nominal nominal in character like uh, black or white hispanic asian and the like and uh, that is nominal variables like uh, black white hispanic asian and the like so ordinal nominal also we have to answer questions like uh, um uh, as an example how many times a person will visit his doctor in a year and uh, uh, how many patents a firm will receive in a year how many articles a professor will publish in a year number of telephone calls received in a span of 5 minutes number of cars passing through a toll booth in every 10 minutes etc such phenomena known as count data so how to model count data also known as rare event data rare event data 
and uh, to do this we use what is known as the Poisson distribution. These are the issues which we discuss. But we will not consider all this. The area is very vast. The area is very vast. And uh, we discuss in detail linear probability model, logit and probit models. Then when we consider cases polychotomous, we have to consider multiple logit, probit, etc. Ordinal like that. Then for counter data, we use Poisson distribution for rare even. These are the issues which we consider where y is qualitative. Y is qualitative in nature.